Ashe family, this is Armand Rose, always trying to bring you guys the truth. So let's dive right into this, man. So I made a post a few days ago um, about exposing who were, you know, I said video coming soon, who are the true devils of the Bible. Now listen, I know people even on the post said something. I said, video coming soon. Who are the devils of the Bible? And I put Satan, the devil, Lucifer, evil spirits. So this was sparked on, and uh, I got notes and notes and notes and notes. This was sparked. Now, this was three days ago. So this is three days of studying. And I'm going to try to shorten it and make it make it quick for you guys because I know how you guys are. I know how you guys don't like to, don't like to, uh, to put in no work. So, the video that I saw was a video from Rashad Jamal, and he was talking about how Odin was the hidden one, okay, out of the Bible, you know, how they talk about the hidden one, you know, the greatest trick of all is that the devil didn't exist, and he went on to say, let me show y'all who the <clears throat> the God of the Bible is, which he also says is an evil dude, which is cool. But he said Odin was the hidden one. Okay. Now, this took me into a whirlwind of, 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 of information because I was like, dude, that's absolutely wrong. That's, if that's uh, based on his video, if you believe going back to find Odin. And say that's the the God of the Bible, the hidden one of the Bible. You you have to start with the original, right? I mean, I'm just going. I'm just 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 saying to you guys, you have to start with the original. You don't go to you don't go to a copy and say the copy is the hidden one. Okay, so we know who Zeus was. Now hold on. Now did y'all know Odin and Zeus was twins? Did you guys know that Odin and Zeus are twins? Okay, so we're not even going to get into the, <laughs> we're not even going to get into coding right now. I don't want to get into coding on this video. But you know that Adam, I mean, uh, <clears throat> Zeus and Odin are twins. So going back to them two is not saying that they are the hidden gods of the, the Bible. That's still a copy because we all we all know Zeus is a copy of an Egyptian god right Egyptian netter okay and I want to see I'm going to start using the, the the correct terminology for this stuff if you guys get it you guys get it if you don't I'm sorry got to get a board you know I'll try to break it down when I'm when I'm doing it but it takes more time our netters you know people that we gave homage to all right, not a god doesn't mean God doesn't mean, your concept of God is not the same meaning as the concept of netter. Okay, so if you're gonna say that, that go back in time and say we're gonna get back to an original person, and you're gonna say Odin, well, Odin and Zeus are copies of Amon Ra, so. If anything, you want to say Amon Ra is the God of the Bible, the hidden. He's the true hidden one of the Bible. If you're going to go, if you're going to go back to a copy, you can't stop at a copy. Remember, I always tell you guys, when you're doing your research and you get some to a certain point, make sure that there's nothing past that. There's nothing past that. But now we can find information that Odin and Zeus are copies of Amon Ra. You have to change that and say, okay, the true hidden one is African culture. It's African comedic science. It's African deities. Those are the true hidden ones. The true hidden, the true hidden netter to be uplifted, to be venerated, is our African netters. Period. Point blank. Those are the copies of the gods of the Bible, period, point blank. Now, certain cultures, 
certain people don't care. They don't care. I'll tell y'all this. There are secret societies that I talk about that worship African deities. Uh, you, you have the most evil religion on the planet. The priests pray to, to our netters. They don't, they don't, they don't bow down and kiss. When you look at the black Madonna and child, who are, who are they? Even though they've changed it. But if you see a picture of the black Madonna and child, it is, they are jet black. They are black. So why are you bowing and kissing the feet of the black Madonna and child? And who does that represent? These Masons know, Masons know, and don't go talk to no black Mason. Go talk to an old white Mason about 50 years old that's been a Mason since he was 22. They'll tell you that they pay homage to African deities. Okay? But they flipped it because remember the narrative that we're evil. What they're doing is good, but they'll take the They'll take the narrative and change it to fit them. Now, and then also, here's what threw me off on the on the video when I was watching Rashad Jamal's video. If you're gonna say that the Celtic culture is the, you know, Odin and them, and Zeus is the hidden one, well, Pan is older than both of them. If you want to go back to the Celtic culture and and, re, and research it, Pan, you would have. You would say Pan is the hidden one, not Odin and Zeus. Pan came way before Odin and Zeus. So if you want to talk about a hidden one, you go to Pan. You don't go to Odin. Odin? Odin is a copy. Odin is Odin was recreated. These people, you can look at during the time frame that they were that they were doing whatever they was doing. Pan was the the, the, the god of fun, lust, and sex, and all this other shit. So they was out there fucking animals. The bestiality bullshit. They worship Pan. Well, during that time also, um, the Europeans wanted to... They became warriors. That's when you got the Vikings. That's when you get Odin and Zeus. Because they don't want to worship somebody that's weak and puny and fucking animals. Even though they kept that culture, they kept it going. They wanted to worship strong because even when you if you if you ever pick up a book and and study any celtic culture who is your god is your god stronger than my god is your god stronger than than, than my beliefs and haha you're weak and i'm strong that's what's their mindset but if you read yes <clears throat> if you read about odin and um and 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 uh, Zeus, these people are the, just the copies of. It. You'll you'll see. Uh, it, it's weird. It's weird because your boy ate his first wife. He turned her into a fly and ate her. He changed his son to my, Mount Caucus. Mount Caucus, huh? So an eagle could eat his liver. Now, this is just like the God of the Bible. He had over ninety kids. He was never faithful to his wife. He slept with a whole bunch of children, a whole bunch of women. Now, also that he 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 tricked one lady into uh, having sex with him, but he was a spirit. He turned into he turned into a smoke, a fog, smoke. He turned into a smoke and 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 had sex with this woman that was turning him down. So this is the listen, man. When we talk about this this shit being gods. No, we don't talk about this shit being God. When a true conscious person will tell you the similarities so you can see the similarities from from God to God to God to God. And, and it makes sense because all they did was change the name. Because even in Spanish, Jesus means high Zeus. We've told y'all that it's just a copy. It's just their copy of Zeus. But it's also their copy of Pan, which is also their copy of African comedic science culture. That's where they got it from. That's where they stole it from. And, and, and like I said, I was going to get really deep into this. And, and oh, oh, you know, Zeus also killed everybody with a great flood, right? You know, Zeus also, because you can actually say Zeus is an uh, Odin and Zeus are 
the copies of the God in the Bible. They just took the story and changed it and said God. That's all they did. That's all they did. So the true God, I know mean, I'm getting to the, I'm getting to it, family. The true God of the Bible, if you want to say there's a true hidden God of the Bible, is Amon Ra. So who are the devils of the Bible? So who hates women? Who will sacrifice their children? Who is always unfaithful? Who? Who kill? Who wants to kill and annihilate people? Who? So let's let's really look at this. The people that orchestrated these books are the true devils. There is no devil. The true people, and, and then like I don't like comedic people saying you're the devil. You're evil and you're good, and you're good and you're evil. No. So you you buy once again, you're buying into their concept of you being what this book says that you are. You're not. They are. They are evil. These are the true devils. The true Satan, the true devil, the true Lucifer, the true evil spirits of the Bible are the people that wrote this Bible. And the people that actually live by this book are the true evil spirits and the children of this demonic book. And I'm just not I'm just not saying, listen, family, I'm not just saying white folks. I can say white folks. I can say this is a white, this is a European Celtic white religion that they've changed, that they took our story, changed it to Pan, changed it to Zeus, changed it to Jason, changed it to Jesus. You can go historically and find these things and you will see that all they did was change the names and the characters. The stories stay the same. There's, there's rape throughout the Bible. There's, <laughs> Od and then Zeus and Odin was all about that. They punk, they pill pillaged and, and, and killed people off. And that's what their thing was. So they raped. These are, these are, these are uh, Viking gods. These are Celtic gods. That's what they do. So, no. The, the people are the true devils. The people that uplift this book, that get into this book, the people, listen to me, because you're, you're measured by your acts, right? So how's the Catholic Church treat been, been doing? You know, that's the, I don't care. I don't care who they worship. I don't care who they bow down and kiss their feet. What are they acts? And see, this is what I don't understand with our people. I've asked you guys to study a lot of things, right? I didn't ask you to be a master of nothing. I, I, I've always told you, study it. So when you see things and you hear things that are incorrect, you can do your research and challenge those things. Like, my thing was with Rashad Jamal when he said, when he said that Odin was the true hidden one, I'm like, dude, you're wrong. African culture is throughout America. Like I said, I've always told you, grab your money, turn it over. Grab your grab grab a dollar bill and turn it over. Look at all the, the things that they've stolen from us. They then they they tell you that our culture is evil, but then turn around and give you back our culture. And we look at it as that's what I'm saying. I don't understand how we Watch somebody. I watched this dude one time. I've never seen this dude before, right? I'm, I don't follow this dude. I saw this dude's video. I saw one video. In three days, I was able to research that this dude was a fraud. Okay? So I know I just gave y'all who the devil... <clears throat> first, I gave y'all who the God was of the book. Who the hidden one is. The hidden one is Amon Ra. Then I told y'all who the true devils were. The devils are the people that uplift the book. Those are the evil people that uplift the book. I don't want to get into all the things that people have done because y'all know what the Catholic Church has done. Y'all, every week, every week, y'all see sex trafficking going on with the church. Y'all see all the craziness that's going in the church. Hell, on my timeline, <clears throat> I just saw somebody posted that the uh, the ushers and, and, and the choir was fighting. And I'm like, <clears throat> when are we going to do better, family? 
so there's there's no there's nothing good about this book and the people that's in the book. How many times y'all gotta have a preacher uh, sleeping getting uh, sleeping with men, a, a man sleeping with a man? How many times y'all gonna go through that? How many times y'all gotta see that to realize that this book is evil, and the people that promote this book, they're they're caught up in carnal sin, just like Paul. And like I told y'all, I wouldn't call y'all, you know, because. You got the author of the book saying that Jesus was gay. You got me telling y'all that Jesus was gay. You got <clears throat> everybody saying that Jesus was gay. And then you'll turn around and cast your own children out because they're gay. Why? The book promotes it. The patch, the preachers promote it. They want to, they, they are involved in carnal sin. The preachers are out there doing what they want to do. Men, women, children, they don't care. And they're indoctrinated with this book. So the people are evil and, and got it twisted. You guys got it twisted to the point where you'll say, oh, well, that's a good man. That's not a good man. That's not a good man. That's not a good man. The last time I got flagged, I put that preacher up here screwing that boy. And the preacher, that boy was like, don't you got to go home to your wife? You better hurry up. Come on, family. We got to see the bullshit. That's why I asked y'all. That's why I ask y'all to study so much, so many different things, you know, mythology, uh, numerology. I ask y'all to study these things so when you hear something, you can actually challenge it intelligently and you could break it down. So I didn't know who this dude was. And like I said, I was just going to show y'all who the devil was, blah, blah, blah. But the video changed to now who, who the God is, who the hidden one, who the true hidden one. When you go back to the origins is of the Bible, who the evil people are, which are the people that promote this book. And then also Rashad Jamal is a fake conscious brother. How does this man have so many following followers? And he's a fake conscious brother. How? How y'all, how, how, how my people out there don't see that? How do you guys out there don't see that this brother is is is, is fake? He's throwing up Masonic. Is that once again? <clears throat> I bet you guys. I know it's weird, but you need to study masonry. You need to go ahead and look at the gangs, that the hand signs, the symbolisms, the stuff that they do. And I know we we talk with our hands. I know I do. I used to do this a lot, <clears throat> and I had to stop doing it because it's, it's symbolism. I had to make sure my hands are open, make sure that, you know, when I feel myself doing that, I'll make sure I, I tuck my hands. OK, so I know I could accidentally do some things, but come on, man. When y'all see the people doing this, when y'all see the people doing this, when y'all see people doing this, when y'all see people doing this, you better start learning. Y'all see people do this. When y'all see people do this, y'all better start learning some of these symbols family you have to start learning and once you see it once you watch a person and you see them start off their video like this or they every other picture has brick walls in the back of them you guys got to understand the symbolism what, what comes with that you guys got to understand that this dude is a puppet you got to understand that and if you don't understand that and you don't see that you're going to always keep falling for fake people and i don't understand it I don't understand it. Like I told y'all, Masons, like I said, don't go talk to a black Mason because a black Mason, like Charles Barkley and, uh, and and all these other, they play stupid. Oh, 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 oh. Go talk. Listen. Listen. And I'm being honest. I'm being serious right now, right? Even though I got a half smile on my face, right? Go talk to an older white gentleman that's around 50. That's been a Mason since he was in his 20s. Not he was a mason. He only been a mason for 10 years. No, no. He has to be a mason for 10, 20 years or more. Go talk to him. And just and, and kind of befriend him. Or just, just see if he'll be honest with you. Most of them will be honest. Most of the white guys, they'll be honest with you. They'll tell you you're on the right path. Keep studying your culture. Keep doing this. That's the, that's the true way. They won't tell you everything, but they'll tell you what I'm telling you, that they even study our comedic science. That's where they stole all that shit from. So now the true hidden one is us. 
<laughs> we're the gods. Our people are the gods. Our culture are godlikes. They worship us. Not saying that you are a literal god. No, I've already told y'all that. We're no. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that bullshit. Okay. If that was the case, we, we 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 should be on a different level. If we were gods, you know what I'm saying. If we were really like that, we we was on a we'll be on another level. You know, so some people should be making some changes if we were gods, but we're not. And we shouldn't even be using the term God. That's their term. We use netter. Okay. So <laughs> let me wrap it up. I just wanted to tell y'all that, man. And, and like I said, I, I apologize for it going into some banging. But it, it is what it is. When you see something, family, you got to. And if you know better, we have to do better. This Rashad Jamal person, y'all shouldn't even be watching this dude. And like I said, but 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 I've also said I've also told you guys watch everybody, study everybody. But then when you see that they're a fraud, stop fucking with them. Stop fucking with them. i have okay. So <laughs> so I ain't want to talk about this shit. So he is also accused of molesting a child, not a child, his child. He is accused of molesting his child. He's a, a he's I believe he's in jail right now. And I and I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is just a support since he's been arrested. But then I saw him on my timeline, I saw the video. And I'm just like, why do we defend once again, why do we defend these creeps? And I'm not saying, once again, listen to me, family. I'm not saying that he did it. But damn, y'all. Once again, when have y'all heard anything like that about me or, or, or the true conscious brothers that's out there? And it ain't going to be the one that's trying to rap. You know, how how you go against the system and you still trying to be a rapper? You telling people to go out and vote. Man, fuck voting. If, we, if we're going to vote, I told y'all how to vote. I told y'all how, before we even started voting, I told y'all what we need to do. When you have a person that promotes the system and tells you that they're conscious, come on, family, y'all got to wake up. This, this is what bothers me. How do I see a person one time? One time, I saw this dude one time and, 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 and with, with three days of research, come to the conclusion, he's a fraud. How? Because I know symbolism. I know the things that I know. I've been, I, I, I study the things that I tell you guys about. And I don't understand how you guys aren't doing it. If you're conscious, if you like following conscious people, I told y'all to watch them. Watch them. Pay attention to them. Most of these brothers fuck up within within months. This brother's in jail <laughs> accused of molesting his own child. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. He's trying to be he's trying to be the reincar reincarnated Tupac. Come on, man. And they're all about separatism. Come on, man. Y'all got to see the funk, man. Y'all got to start seeing the funk and, and, and paying attention to everything and not just going with stuff just to be going with it. All right? I'm sorry it went so long. Like I told y'all, you know, and this, this one got emotional for me because why is a conscious brother trying to say Odin is the hidden one? Odin is not the hidden one. Odin and Zeus are not the hidden one. Those twin brothers are not the hidden one. Because there were deities, even Celtic deities, older than them. Pan. Our deities, or their god, our deities are older than them. So the true hidden one, if you want to say Odin and Zeus, those twin brothers, are copies of our African netters. Okay? And y'all do some studying. Do some studying. That's all you got to do, man. It's... it's 15, 10 minutes of study, and I was taking notes. I was writing everything down because I didn't want to get up here and say the wrong thing. But the brother is a fraud. The true gods, the true hidden one of the Bible is Amon Ra. The true devils of the Bible are the people that promote the Bible. Hotel family. I do this because I love you.